In a normal pregnancy at uh, around the 34 to 36 week mark, amniotic fluid volume is usually about 800 milliliters. Now this fluid, it's actually a reflection of a few things. Fetal swallowing, fetal breathing, fluid transfer across the amniotic sac, and especially fetal urination. But sometimes this amniotic fluid, it can be reduced, lower than normal. And when that happens, we call it oligohydramnios. How do we confirm that? Well, it's usually diagnosed on ultrasound using either the maximal vertical pocket, MVP method, or the amniotic fluid index, AFI. A maximal vertical pocket of less than two centimeters and an AFI of five centimeters? That's the usual diagnostic cutoff. On physical exam, the uterus, it's actually smaller than expected for that stage of pregnancy. All right, so what causes oligohydramnios? We can group the causes into two main categories. One, primary anomalies. These are intrinsic fetal conditions affecting amniotic fluid production. Two, secondary anomalies, which are external factors that lead to decreased fluid levels. So what happens when oligohydramnios is present? It usually results in potter facies, fetal growth deficiency, pulmonary hypoplasia, breech position, limb position defects. It's actually pretty common to find fetal anomalies in oligohydramnios cases. I've listed all of them in the description, so yeah, check that out.